Hi, this is Mr. Plank. I'm your son or daughter's math teacher for Integrated Math 2. I wanted to give you an update on the quarter. We're six weeks in. we got four weeks to go. So Unit 1 is in the books. Most students did really well with Unit 1. Um, so most students are sitting pretty right now in the grade book with a B or better. Obviously, there are some outliers um, out there. Um, we are currently working on Unit 2, which is triangle congruence and triangle similarity. Oh, we'll be wrapping up those lessons this week with the big exam uh, later next week. Um, then finally, we'll start next week, we'll start unit three, which is on right triangle trigonometry. That'll be the last unit for this quarter. Um, so again, we, we're six weeks in, but there's still a lot to go in the grade book over the last four weeks. So I like to say the grade book moves slowly, but swiftly. So you need to understand the details of the grade book, what's going in now. So as, for example, this student here has 91%, they got an A minus. If I'm the student or I'm the parent, I just look at the bottom line grade, and I'm like, oh, we're doing great. But this student, along with these other students, all got a 12 out of 20 on the quiz Friday. I expect them to come to Hub this week. I expect them to learn it, the material on triangle congruence at a higher level, and then they're going to earn a free retake where they can actually raise that 12 all the way up to 20 out of 20 if they show, demonstrate that they've learned the material. So those are the details you, you got to be watching. I, I, I start to slip on assignments. They say, I got this. They start to slip. Well, you need to be paying attention because that assignment score, since it's got 100 right now, it's not going to go down that fast. <laughs> it's going to go down really slow. So you're not going to notice it unless you're looking at the gradebook uh, details. And then finally, my students that are DF right now, it's not too late. You can turn this thing around. Uh, these students typically do need some external motivation from home to make it happen. And I'm just going to leave you with this caveat. There's never been an easier time in the history of IM IM2 to pass this class outside maybe uh, Q4 last spring, but there'll never be an easier time. 80, 50, 50%, think about it. If you have 80% on assignments, you can drop down to 60% on assessments and you'd still pass the class with a C or better. If you're just looking for D for diploma, just to get done, get your credits for math, right? If that's what you need and you get 80% on assignments, you can drop all the way down to 40% on assessments, and you still hit 60% threshold to get your credits for math. So parents, make it happen. Thanks for, thanks for listening. If you need me for anything, my email is mplank at rjuhsd.us.